Good Saturday, and thank you for coming to KSHB.com and checking out the weather blog. Well, we have dried out. Remember that rain ice storm in the middle of January? Well, since then, since January 17th, it has been dry. We've only had 13 hundredths of an inch of precipitation. Average during that time is 1.83, down 1.7. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, even though it's getting dry, but as we get into the warmer season and we're supposed to get more precipitation, if we keep up at that pace, it is really going to get dry, and we do have concerns for that. Now, we do have some systems to watch, but they're not very big, and I'll show you that here in a second. Now, the big storm from the other day has moved off into the eastern United States, pretty much missing Kansas City. We had a few little showers and thunderstorms and a little bit of snow, but amounts were pretty puny. Now we're tracking a series of small weather systems. We'll get into that right now. As you can look this afternoon, mostly sunny. Temperatures right around 40 degrees, a lot less wind than we had yesterday, and that is nice. Now, tomorrow morning, kind of interesting. Temperatures will be right around freezing in the morning, starting to warm up, and there may be a little bit of light rain, light sleet or snow mixed in. If it comes in really early, like 6 or 7 in the morning, there could be some slick spots. But after 8 or 9 in the morning, it'll be above freezing. There won't be any slick spots at all, and there's also a chance it doesn't even happen in the first place, or it'll be so light it just won't make much of a difference, because tomorrow afternoon it's gone, temperatures warm up into the 40s, well into the 40s, and a few rain showers will be possible across southern Missouri, and then tomorrow night, back to partly cloudy, temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s, and then on Monday there's another system to watch, maybe a few rain showers, but again, not much. Temperatures will be in the 50s. It'll start to warm up, and it will be partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. And then Tuesday, that warm front comes through, and we can get up into the 60s, so getting pretty nice. Now, when you add up all these weather systems, there's one for Tuesday night and Wednesday, too. When you add it all up, this is the total rainfall after a week. 1,800s, 1,500s, two-tenths of an inch. That's just not enough. You saw that deficit. It's 1.7 since the middle of January. That is not, this is not going to put much of a dent into it. We need a big wet storm, and that is just simply not showing up at this time. So the forecast for today, looking nice, at least a lot less wind, and like it should be. The freeze this morning, hard freeze, is actually a good thing, kind of slowing down the budding process. There may be a few flowers that got nipped, but most things haven't come out enough to cause a problem, but enough to cause allergies. So hopefully it's slowed down a little bit. So 41 this afternoon. The wind's around 5, 6, 7, 10 miles per hour. This evening falling into the 30s and on the 7-day forecast. Had a little bit of snow or rain tomorrow morning. And then warming up into the well into the 40s. Monday and Tuesday in the 50s to near 60. Another system in a shot of colder weather Wednesday. And then more seasonable after that as we go towards the end of the week. Have a great weekend.